Hello guys, it's the RPG Brit here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Frostpunk. Um, so Hope has just dropped massively uh, because we've just figured out that the uh, the city we were trying to find, they're all dead. Um, so trying to find them uh, a new lease of hope. Food is not looking too bad, got 148 meals. We might be able to change that actually. Uh, we won't change it just yet. I was going to say we might be able to change it to soup, but I do... I am given the moonshine as well, so the discontent they have from eating soup is um, smaller. So that's quite good. Um, we've got the automaton who's going to go and work the coal mine. Um, and yeah, overall not looking too, too bad. unconvinced one to leave sir you've convinced the majority but hope is low a group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for london in 15 days now this is what actually made me fail before so we really need to focus so build a build a man to watch towers let's do that first so watchtower one Yeah. Watch the tower too, maybe. No. I could do it there and then just build one. I oh, can't quite fit in that section. Let's do it there. Why is no one working though? Right, I'm going to take some people off of here. As promised, you built a manned watchtowers to maintain order in the city. Hope rises. Perfect. Right, technology tree. What did I just... Oh, more scouts. That's good. Um, right. So we're going to need stuff for hope then. Food, health and shelter maybe. Maybe doing this medical thing would be good. Yeah, let's do that. Right, but I can get more scouts now. Where am I going to pluck them from? How many do I need? Is it five? I could take them from that still. Be here, won't it? Yeah, five people and forty wood. Yeah, let's just get five from here. There we go, and they can go all the way up to here first. All right, cool. So we've got two scouts. What I might do, because wood is quite good, I'm going to take some people off here and send them over here. Food is not bad. Coal is not bad. Now, with this work in here, I did want to put a, um, a steel pump, but just keep it off. I can't believe it speeds it up. Like, it doesn't have to walk all the way back to the settlement. Also, if I wanted to change it to have people working here instead, then that'll work as well. Alright, Jordan is taking race in accordance with the Jordan law. A barrel ceremony has started. Cool. Yeah, because like, it's, it's coming over here to refuel. Scouts have reached a large colony. Convoy, sorry. Uh, and there are some survivors. Nice, because I do actually start needing some more people now. Uh, this is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. 
The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they said. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. So let's escort them back. So they're on their way back now, but which is good because that they're on their way to the weather station. Right, so it's not, it's, I'm definitely in a much, much better position than I was before. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. That's fine, low risk of falling ill. It's not too, too bad, that's, that one's quite bad. I'm going to have to, I might look at upgrading some more of the houses actually. People... There we go. Cool. That's all the steel. Right, once that's built, I'm going to turn that off. Londoners gain more followers. That's not good. We'll be able to win the round, I reckon. People join the Londoners. Sir, the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to raise the hope. We've got plenty of time to do that. I hope. <laughs> actually got five workers that are not accounted for. So, what am I thinking? Maybe some of the steel because that's what's needed to upgrade the houses. So let's do that. Yeah, see that's looking really good now. And this is on a cold um, spout as well. Intervention. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, was thankfully caught by the neighbourhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse if I weren't if it weren't for the watchman, a neighbour commented, we're lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. That is the type of stuff I really, really need to hear. Yes, that's good. Medical post. Research upgraded, done. Perfect. Okay. Um, what now, though? Generator range, maybe? I am starting to run out of range, so yeah, let's do that. Like, run out of um, space within its current range, that's what I mean. Coal is going up really, really nicely now as well. Work day ends. Off time. Right, so with that, let's upgrade some more of these houses. Right, they're back. We've got loads of people. Okay. So, let's get more people, as many people as we can still, because that's been really good for um, upgrading the houses. 39 people left. Wow, we've got a lot of people. Let's get people collecting coal. Let's get people collecting coal from there as well. Did I put people working here? Yeah, I did. Let's get more people back on the wood. 13 still left. really have anything else for them at the moment until I get some more cores I can build some more stuff um, how are the medical posts looking do I need to build another medical post that's the hunter's hut 
five out of five, so maybe. It's quite difficult to establish what's what. Um, that's a child shower. There were the new houses. So where was the other? It was down here somewhere. Five out of five. So yeah, maybe I get a new medical. Um, a new medical post. Build up here. Yeah, because then it'll be in, in range of that heat. Also, I could build some houses up there as well. Which I'm definitely going to need to now that I've got loads more people. Of course I do. Right, so. And then let's wait for this, the weight to get some steel. It's not too bad. Right, now these scouts... This is the thing I've now run out of. Is it worth going back to these then? I mean, we'll send them there, because then at least they're there, aren't they? I'm guessing we're going to keep exploring down this way. Be closer then. Right. Morning gathering. We'll gather each morning and make sure our goals and priorities for us are clear. Morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time. That's definitely what we need. And hope will raise just signing it. Nice, that's a good amount as well. New law is signed. And the Londoners have gained more followers, 28. Don't let the London shock city rate remain in 28. Hmm. 13 days left though, so that's not too bad. Get going. Right. Back Time to work. To Let's build somebody straight away up here. The eight people unemployed should go there straight away. General range, nice. I wonder whether to do another one of these. Hmm. Let's do this one so we can have fifty percent more anyway. It's coal, we're looking really, really good. Let's turn this up. So it can help with these bits here. There we go. Can we turn some of these off now? I think so. Yep, still looking really good. Nice. Time to rest, folks. Works out today. Might need to put some more stockpiles because our coal is shot up. Which is really, really good. They should all get built fairly quickly. Let's have a look then. Um, food, no resources. Extends our storage capacity. Yeah, so 20, 20 still for that. So we'll get that next actually. Because our coal is, um, is doing really, really well. I have not been keeping an eye on my scouts because they're already there. Right. Coal and steam cores, nice. 
So we found uh, scientists' notes. They predicted that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observation ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they moved out for good. We can see the city of Windhome from the roof of the weather station. So Windhome and the coal mines. So take resources. And you can start heading home. But... You, if you go to the coal mine and then you can go to there. Right. What's going on here? Hope falls slightly. Great. The recent report of the weather station. Okay. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, looking okay. 14 hours left of Oh, that's fine. Yeah, not good. I'm gonna need to start getting some better uh, medical facilities. I'm gonna have a look at that in a sec. Food is also looking like it's going, it's getting short again. London has gained more followers. I feel like I'm doing well, but they keep gaining followers, and it's scaring me a little bit. Um, let's get another medical post. That is obviously an issue. How is that not chasing to a street? Resource depot done. Right, I'm thinking that we just upgrade now because we're going to need to start getting better medical facilities, all that kind of stuff. So let's do that. I need to keep an eye on these laws as well because I'm not doing them as efficiently as I should be. Uh, right, so what's this one here? New ability form and increase the efficiency of workplaces by 40% for 24 hours. Point in a uh, reasonable foreman will make sure that people work as efficiently as possible. It's not bad. Guard stations discontent will rise. Guard stations raise the hope of people. Yeah, I mean, we need that. We need the hope. Discontent is fine me, at the moment. Build a man to guard stations. City. I mean, do these. Yeah, these just got upgraded to them. That's fine. So they're back with some coal and a core unit, right. I'm actually going to send them straight over to here. It's annoying because I feel like I'm doing well, but it's obviously not good enough at the moment. Um. I don't think I really need to do anything for resources, really. Resources seems to be okay. I mean, wood and steel could be a little bit more. I, c I can increase the efficiencies of these buildings. There you go. But coal is really, really good. Guard stations have been built. Um, hope rises. Perfect. 
nice that's a good amount of hope as well thinking of building some more but I don't know any more people at the moment I can take people off coal so yeah let's do that guard station let's do one here because uh, yeah because there are houses there mm, actually right we need to house these people let's do this for the one house on the left there Let's actually build them around here, yeah. Let's do that. And what do we need for a heater? Because we're going to need that 20. Okay. Let me watch. I'm pretty sure he, they can charge on this, yeah. So, yeah, so it is quite efficient then, having it there. I'm sure the London's have gone down. I think it was up to 38, now it's at 35, so if it has, then it's excellent. Food is a bit of an issue. Hope will fall slightly. This is troubling, yeah, send watchmen to remove it. 38, oh, that's what I thought they were on. <laughs> Went down. Temperatures are going to drop again, which isn't good. Since they're already at minus 40. Okay. Right, so I, I do remember this one as well. So the coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota and filled the loading bay. We could retrieve print of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. So any resources found in the site will be taken. We'll be able to restart the mine later, or do I just take everything? Get yeah, two cores. Yeah, I'm just gonna take everything, because coal I don't think is an issue at the moment. Uh, and then send them back. Now we've only got four people that don't have a home, so that's really not that bad. No time to waste. We've got work to do. Right. So we've unlocked the whole other um, research tree. So let's have a look. Heating, I think we're okay at the moment. For heating. Outpost depot. It allows us to assemble an outpost team, send it to an establishment, a permanent outsource resource. Blah, blah, blah. A permanent resource outpost far away from the city and maintain a connection with it. Why though? I don't have enough for it anyway, but that's interesting. Lighter scout sleds by Using a new lighter sled design, scouts will move 50% faster. That's good because it's starting to really, really increase uh, the amount of time it's taking them. Or a factory, a plant where automatons and other highly advanced devices can be produced. That's not bad. Uh, the resources. Right, gathering post. Um, gathering post will be warmer, not bad. Uh, large resource depot, extends our storage capacity, cool. Steel coal thumper. 
by bumping high pressure steam into underground coal deposits and steam coal. So the steam coal thumper forces the precious resources to surface from a pile up to, oh wow, 1,020 coal. Coal mining optimization. Coal mines steam. Blah. Coal mines, steam coal mines, and advanced coal mines will be 10% more efficient. Steam sawmill produces frozen trees. Okay. Uses steam power to extract iron ore. So I'm guessing I can upgrade those buildings to steam ones. Right, but this is actually what I would need like the health or the food, food would be good. Hunters will employ fewer people. Okay, I'm guessing I'll still get the same amount of food. Uh, right, let's start from the beginning anyway. Uh, hot houses and industrial hot houses will be warmer, that's good. Yeah, hunting tactics, flying hunters. What? Allows us to build hunters hangers. Hunter hanger. Hunters based here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track their prey from the air. They provide up to 30 more food per day. So that's even better. That's more food, because I think it's 20 at the moment. And again, I'm guessing that's an upgrade, so I can upgrade my existing ones. Uh, and then these are the health ones. So medical posts, infirmary, houses of healing and care houses will be warmer. Infirmary. Steam heated infirmary with 10 beds, the sick are treated faster than the medical posts and the gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. Um, I'm guessing that is an upgrade again. So that's actually a really good one. Cookhouse institution. Cookhouses will be warmer. Okay. I'm thinking I'll save up for that. I only 30 wood, which I'm not far from. So I'm thinking I'll do that and then just upgrade. Because our, actually our medical thing is not that bad. Maybe, uh, maybe the food though, the hunter stuff. Got 30 wood now. So I'm going to do this one and then upgrade. Hopefully, it's an upgrade. Because food is starting to look a little bit more scarce. We're out of wood, but that's fine. I think I think it's still going fine. It's annoying me that the Londoners are gaining more and more. It's time for rest. The Londoners are gaining more followers because hope is not too too bad. I can nearly do a new law anyway. Okay. Right. Right. So. Control. Ensuring safety and order is the utmost importance to, for the long term survival. So, new ability patrol from the guard station. Each use will reduce this consent, each use will raise hope slightly. So, that's good. Prison. Um, those who threaten the stability of our city <laughs> have to be isolated for the good of us. So, new building city, new ability roundup prison uses to catch wrongdoers. Prisoners will abandon their misguided views. You will have to build a prison. Discontent will rise slightly. It's nothing to do with hope, unfortunately. To keep things running smoothly, we need to stay informed about our people's concerns and have a way of spreading the news. We want them to hear the propaganda center. So new building, uh, propaganda center. The propaganda center raises hope, shows detailed info on sources of discontent, new ability. The propaganda center can distribute bulletins. You have to build a propaganda center and discontent. I'm guessing I'm going to do that one. The propaganda center. Obviously, I need to build a propaganda center, which I can do straight away. Nice. So let's get that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
Right, I'm going to put it here because I'm going to put a heater here, I think. Um, nah, they're all looking good. It's not bad at all. Temperature is going to drop slightly, but then raise after a couple of days. So that's obviously a plus. One of our people died, and the Londoners gained more followers up to 41. And we've got 10 days left. Right, we've got build and man this. So. Yep, and It's annoying. Police in the streets, let them sober up, punish them. So, a group of drunk men were disturbing the peace, pushing each other, screaming obscenities and harassing women in the street. Our guards intervene and restrain the drunks before anyone is hurt. People may get hurt, discontent will fall slightly. I'll just let them sober up. Hope, hope will rise, which is what I need. Right, where am I going to get some people from? Um. Let's take some from the coal bits here. Probably take some from the actual coal thumpers as well. That is 11 now anyway. And I need engineers, right. Hope rises. Oh, look at that. That is really good. Hope shot up. Um... Really, really happy with that. Don't have any more engineers available. There's some here. One more engineer. That's fine. Awesome. Really, really happy with that. Hopefully, that will stop. The Londoners from gaining gaining more followers. May the traitors cower in terror. Order above all. This sign will remain remind everyone that we're a city of order. That's it. No mercy for our enemies. I mean. The red flags are a little bit uh, disconcerting, should we say. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Hitler. Anyway, um, right, what's this about? Oh, so annoying. Captain, members of the neighbourhood watch who are removing the Londoners' slogans have been assaulted. We should do something to protect our people. Send guards to secure the street. Order guards to strike back. I don't want to escalate this. Hope will rise. Send guards to secure the streets, yeah. Ah, oh, cool. People are troubled by the following issues. Bad food. Um, right, so they've returned with all of that goodness. Which is really, really, really good. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with it yet, at the moment. How are these so cold, though? Is that not... Oh, it's because yeah, it doesn't turn on yet. So that actually needs to be on 24 hours. There we go. Right. No so, We've got work to do. this scout team, we're going to send them all the way down to there. Uh, food is an issue. So. We are getting some technology for it, so maybe I can hold out until then. Yeah. And then we'll upgrade the, um, the hunter's hut. Right, that's the flying hunters, so that means they're bringing back more food each time. Um, no, it's not. Yeah, I still have to upgrade that. Hang on. Right, let's actually 
start doing another technology. Probably hunting tactics so I can free up some more people. Yeah, let's do that. So I need to put five in each one then. And they'll bring back the same amount of food, I'm guessing. Temperature is going to drop very, very shortly. One more person has died. Another one has died. Can't it be the followers? <laughs> Return your Another one have died. Why is so many dying now? Yeah, we need to look at um, the infirmary and stuff like that next. I think. I say that, but by the time it comes to it, I'll probably change my mind. I actually want to do something different anyway. Cole, seven hours left. This thing is still working though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, people support the guards. Sir, people are no longer concerned by the Londoners' slogans. Some have started to bring hot soup to the guards patrolling the streets. We just couldn't bear watching them walk in the streets this in the cold. The slogans, the deranged schools of cowards, nothing more. Awesome. We've got nine days remaining. The first time the Londoners have fallen to persuade anyone to abandon our city and flee London. People are recovering from their shock of the news of winter home and starting to hope for the future. Really, really good news. Right, so we've now got... Yeah, flying hunters. Which is really, really cool. So we should start seeing a lot more food coming. We've actually got no food at the moment. Oh, and th this is them coming back now. Right, it's gotten a lot colder, the 20 degrees. So, we're going to need to... Um, what can I do with this? I can't turn that up anymore yet. Um, but we're going to need to start looking at heating as well. So yeah, so I can't do the infirmary just yet. It's going to be heating is our next port of call. Right, scouts have actually reached winter home. Nice. Steam cores. We climbed up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scenes of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. Oh dear. Uh, the streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The city chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair the following squabbles riots and descent into anarchy fights for dwindling resources and the ev eventual starvation the last entry god forgive us we're eating our dead there's no hope well, luckily we've not um started doing that okay so there's one all the way back here annoying um okay what i'm going to do then Right, they've got cores, haven't they? So I'm going to I'm going to send them back, and then once they're back, they can go and do that one. Um, these guys, I'm going to send it to the cliff. I was assuming they'd all carry on going in this direction, but they're obviously not. So I need to keep that in mind. Resources wise, I still think I'm doing alright. I am going to build another coal mine at some point. But these coal farms are producing loads. I think they're going to run out of trees actually soon. Right, hunting tactics, that is really good. So that should have freed up five, uh, five from each one. Awesome. Okay, right, so do I do the infirmary? Obviously that will raise the heat, which is good. Those are good ones, because you don't it doesn't cost anything either. Let's do the infirmary. I'm guessing that does upgrade this the medical post, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I 
one of our people who had to undergo an amputation working in the freezing cold left him with such severe frostbite that there was no other choice. Consider signing a care home or prosthetics law. You must do something. I will. Uh, so I've got care home. I'm going to do prosthetics as well. New breeder and prosthetics available in the factory. Amputees. Okay. So I, I haven't actually got a factory yet. Um, I can't sign the law either yet. But I've got the care home anyway. not looking too too bad I mean chili isn't great but it's only a low risk that's very cold though I was gonna build uh, another heater here wasn't I no? right. slow down there you go do like there so I can build some other stuff leading up to this road Another person's died, another person's died. Mm, like coal is becoming a bit more of an issue again. So get as many people as you can on the coal. I think they're dying from here. Looking at it. Yeah. Gonna have to get these working. Emergency shift. Emergency shift. Discontent will rise massively, but we'll get rid of that. some stolen food. succeeded. Uh, poets who, what? So, one of our people committed suicide. In his spare time, he wrote poems about lost suffering and the death of hope. Our propaganda centre waged a campaign against him to protect our people from his influence. Now people might blame us for his suicide unless we make it look like he drank himself to death. Do it and burn the poems, yeah. Poor. Just when you think you're doing well, it just throws so much of a stuff at you. I wish there was ways, yeah, we're out of coal again. Turn this back on. Um, which has ways of researching something where wood food rations and sink or um, where they use less coal. <laughs> I mean, that would be good. Uh, the hole in the snow cliff leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. It might be the sole survivor of a winter home. Let's explore it. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself as absolute ruler. He tried to impose orders and force. Plenty of people disgruntled 
Um, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. We'll take resources. I'm going to, um, 16 hours. I'm going to go to these places. Researching that thing to halve their travel time might be a good idea. Uh, right, Book of Laws. What is that? Let's have a look. Uh, what's agitator? New building agitator. Rises the efficiency of nearby workplace by 20%. We have to build three agitators. Uh, pledge of loyalty. People make mistakes, but we can give them a chance to redeem themselves if they agree to cooperate, of course. People will be paid to sign a pledge of loyalty, which will turn them into secret informers. This will improve, this will provide a permanent hope bonus. I'm fine with that. Discontent, I reckon we can deal with. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Order, people. Let's march to work. Watching the coal to see if it's slightly going up. But that's not good enough. We're gonna struggle. Really, really gonna struggle. I'm just having people become gravely ill constantly. Uh, so they've returned. Let's send them to here. Three hours, not bad. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that coal mine. Good infirmaries to significantly improve healthcare. Right. Heating is what. We, uh, oh, actually. Resources. Is it worth doing something with the coal? Coal mining. 10% more efficient. Yeah, let's do that. Um, is it an upgrade, is it? No. Because that's the medical thing there. Right. That's fine, Nate. Let's... Uh, go and try me that. so much every time hope goes down a little bit Rest time. Work is done for the day. yeah I'm gonna really really I'm gonna really struggle here um because of coal coal is like staying stagnant throughout the day I can't get them to work another 24 hours uh, a member of the London is talking to a crowd he's trying to scare as many people into joining the exodus to London but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of the people who are content with the situation. Let's just do that. Disperse the crowd. Yeah, I think we're going to fail again, it looks like. Children's hideout. We've got some survivors. The case is a hideout for some children who were evacuated from Windhome. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them off. This is going to get loads of kids. Fair enough. Uh, we talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teacher and some hunters took them out from Winterhome on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time before things in the city turned really ugly. The scouts, uh, so escort the children back, send the children. That's not going to happen, is it? 
Yeah, let's escort them back then. Uh, we found the children in an orderly column and set off towards the city. They walk quietly and resolutely like little adults. The youngest clutch in their toys tightly. This is going to be a long journey. Please have enough warm beds and prepare for their arrival. Oh, but we're going to struggle. Really, really going to struggle. Um, right. Let's start taking people off. Yeah. Let's take people off these. We'll leave one on there so at least they're gaining something. And just put as many people as we can on collecting this coal. Go got nine people still that we can assign. Probably worth building another coal thing now. Hopefully that will improve that. Um, <clears throat> okay, local citizens reported that he saw a group of young people vandalising the propaganda centre. They wrote, wake up people in big letters on the outer wall. What should we do? Punish the guilty, remove the rise. The discontent will fall, people may get hurt. Hope will rise slightly. Let's do that. Get that hope up. Right, there's the infirmary, which I can't actually man at the moment. Yeah, that's some guards to get the stolen food. Okay, right, well. Let me pause that. Guards succeeded. I am going to. Uh, how long is this video so far? Let me just check. Yep, yeah, over 50 minutes. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, hopefully. I don't know. I'm hoping that what I've done with the coal mine might rectify the problem we've got. I'm not 100% sure. We've got as many people as we can collecting. Um, coal. Uh, these people are dying. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's a struggle. It's, it's coal again. Um, I've got those two there, and I've also got another coal in here, so I might just need to focus on building them and just getting them manned and heated um, while keeping all this here as well. But yeah, um... Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've got any hints, then please, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.